Hello viewers, welcome to Elimo TV, whereby we are going to have our lesson, we are going to interact and experience together. We are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 17, and your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to handle the topic on uh, nutrition in plants and animals, under the subtopic, external structure of the leaf. Uh, in our previous lessons, we looked at um, uh, the introduction to the nutrition in plants and animals and for us to be able now to understand um, nutrition in plants and animals here we are going to first deal with nutrition in plants whereby its nutrition is uh, carried out by the the leaf we have our uh, different um, we have both the internal and the external part of the leaf but now here on our topic we are going to study the first the external structure of the Live and as a reminder, we say that nutrition is a process by which plants, uh, because we are dealing with the uh, nutrition plants now, let us say nutrition is a process by which living uh, plants acquire and utilize nutrients. We are going to have a lesson goals whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to draw and name the external structures of the leaf. And remember, I've said that um, we have both the external and the internal structure of the leaf but in this lesson we are mainly concerned with the external structure of the leaf before we move um, to the internal structure of the leaf on our diagram as you can see we have a diagrammatic uh, representation of the of the leaf it has got um, several parts which include the tip and as you are seeing the tip with um, the the sharper part of the leaf we also have uh, the blade the blade is also known as the the leaf lamina the blade is the it is actually the flat surface of the uh, leaf which is a uh, green in color we also have the margin whereby as you can see from our diagram the margin is the outer part the outer part of um, of the leaf we also have the midrib so you can see the midrib is running um e uh, at the center of the of the leaf which is being joined by the veins so uh, we have the lateral veins eh? because we have both longitudinal and the lateral but these ones are normally known as the lateral veins uh, you can see they are running to join the midrib so in other words you can say the uh, midrib is a larger um is a larger um vein because it is running at the center they have got several functions which you shall uh, see um as we are going by we have the petiole uh, the petiole, as you can see, it is being attached to on the um, on the lower end to the to the plant. That is, uh, as you can see, we have the stem, and also we have all the stipules, which are now the originalities of the of the leaf. Now, as we have seen, we have um, th these are diagrammatic representation, and now we need to explain more about the um, part that we have seen. I would like by defining what is a leaf and I want to say that a leaf is a thin flattened organ which is attached to the stem or branch of a green plant. Remember it is um, it is the leaf whereby photosynthesis takes place and we said in our previous lesson that photosynthesis is the process by which a green plant, remember the, uh, the plant must be green uh, for it to um, make its own food the first part that you have seen is the lamina i guess uh, you are able to see the lamina which is also the the blade whereby we have said that the lamina is a flattened surface it is green in color and contains the photosynthetic tissue as we go back to the diagram you can see that uh, our lamina is green in color and we have said that um, it contains the photosynthetic tissues so in short the lamina contains the guard cells which are uh, these whereby the photosynthesis takes place we also have got the veins which we are saying that they run through the lamina forming extensive network as you, we can refer from our diagram i am very sure that you are able to see the the lateral veins so we are saying the the veins they run through the lamina forming extensive networks uh, we also have the midrims the midrib which it runs through the middle and uh, as i had said earlier on 
The midrib uh, it is at the center of the leaf, which is being conjoined by the by the veins. We also uh, we are going to have uh, we are going to have um, the, uh, the continuation of the external structure of the leaf. Uh, so we have in the cotyledonous plant, simple leaves have a thick midrib which runs in the middle, and I guess. That is for the dichrodinous plants. They have a thick midrib, and as I can show you there, that is this the this is the midrib. Uh, we also have in monocotyledonous plants, the midrib is absent, but small veins run parallel to each other. Remember, in uh, dichrodinous plants, we have said it has got a midrib, but now in monocotyledonous plants, for example, an example of a monocotyledonous plant is uh, the maize plant. And example of a dichrodinous plant, we have the uh, bean plant. So you, you should be able to differentiate between the, the two. Um, so remember that we have said in monocotyledonous plant, it doesn't have uh, this midrib we are seeing over here, but it has got small veins. Um, we are going to have in some plants, the leaf is attached to the stem or branch by a petiole while in others it is attached directly to the stem as you can see from the diagram the petiole is part of the leaf whereby the leaf is joined to the to the main plant but in some uh, plants it is attached directly to the stem um having done and said that we are going to have an activity whereby in our activity you should draw and label the external structure of the leaf what you're going to do, you're just going to draw the f uh, this structure of the leaf and you're going to, to name it. Um, for further reference, you can refer to KLB Secondary Biology, Students Book 1, that is the uh, Nairobi Kenya Literature Bureau. Uh, for this and more information, you can contact us by sending us an SMS on the number that is appearing on our screens, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Ilimu uh, TV, or you send us a message on our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us, or you send us a message on our Twitter handle, which is at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for watching, and let us subscribe to our, these um, pages that we are seeing on the screen so that we learn more. Thank you.